Nearly a century ago, the Titanic disaster shocked the world. Even today, we still struggle to understand the events of that night. Science has given us a way to go back in time, to replace myth with fact, to develop new theories, and to reconstruct a defining moment of the 20th century. We've accomplished a lot on this operation. We've imaged the hull beneath the mud line and detected the damage caused by the iceberg. a little better what the mystery of Titanic is all about. It's a question of uh, steel, question of naval architecture, exceeding the limits of what the ship was designed for. That's why she sank, exceeding the limits of what she was designed for. History is enriched by new discoveries. And the story of Titanic lives on with each new retelling of her tragic tale. Every expedition really contributes new information. But I think this one uh, really is, is contributing uh, solid, reliable information, not only in terms of the present condition, but by extension, what the ship's future condition will be as well as what happened in the past. Titanic represented not so much the end of an era. Titanic represented the cause and the reflection that, well, maybe we're not so great as we thought we were. But I'll tell you what, it's not going to happen again. The lessons of Titanic still resonate with meaning. Even to this day, the story of this great ship can still touch our hearts. And so I looked at the ship as she's looming up, and I thought, here is a gray lady, an elegant lady, a queen of the deep. A sad lady, a silent lady, are you now asleep? Can we learn from your sorrow to share? Teach us to understand and certainly to care that never again will there ever be a gray lady, an elegant lady, slip unwillingly into the sea.